you, got my eyes wide, damn, damn, damn. Looking at you, got my eyes wide, damn. So out of this world like sci-fi. I am the one that got loud the bands. Who you become and rolled at the pants. Something in the air, I perfect my stance. Jump to the floor, I just wanna dance. Hey besties, thanks so much for tuning in with your girl Kayla and I re as y'all can see by the caption and the thumbnail. Today we're gonna be doing some hygiene shopping, fragrance shopping at Sephora. Y'all already know what the deal is. I love going to Sephora and finding out new scents. I know my girl Jackie has some new perfumes. I did go into the other Sephora, and that was the very last time I had gone to a Sephora. My very last video that I posted of going to Sephora too. So it's been months, baby. And I cannot wait to see what's tea, what's popping in here. Listen, if you are not subscribed, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. Press the bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss another video from me. Just so you can become a bestie. Let's go ahead and get into it. I love y'all so much. Listen, to my returning besties, thanks so much for tuning in with your girl. I love y'all so, so much. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, y'all, so we're over here in the area with Laneige, and I see that they have a new um, Laneige lip mask, and y'all already know how I feel about Laneige lip masks. I've got their Candy Apple one, their Berry, their, all of their stuff, They all of their new stuff that they actually dropped, so... And then they also have like these bombs and I, like I tell y'all all the time like the consistency from the bombs to the lip treatment is literally the same formula I, I feel. <laughs> I really feel that. Now one, I haven't tried this blueberry but I do love the sweet candy. The gummy bear is really nice. The berry is very nice. The mango, I don't like mango of anything because it, it stinks a little bit but I have not sent, um, oh I did smell the vanilla one. So we're going to see about the blueberry and we're going to see about this little watermelon pop one. So as you can see, the lip treatments are $25, which is the lip masks. Um, or, I'm sorry, the lip masks are $24, the lip treatment balm, which I think is the vanilla one. I can't remember which one, but wh whichever one that is, that one is $25. And then the lip glowy balm is actually $18. This brand, I would say this brand actually always have like some really, really good products. Um, They came up with like this new bouncy and firm eye sleeping mask. I have not seen this before. So this is the eye sleeping mask. As y'all can see right here, it's saying that like it helps with like fine lines and like wrinkles and stuff. And you can see that this was downturned here, but then this one ended up upturning it. And they're saying that you see new changes after four weeks. So this is the this is how the jar looks. And this is what I can see it. And it's a night mask, so you put it on at night. It smells like roses, but this is the consistency. And if I can find Yep, I got a little station. I'm just gonna use some in here and see the consistency. This is how much I got. So it really doesn't smell bad. And this right here, it says 93% agree that skin felt firm. And the price on here, I can't see how much it costs. I can't see how much it costs, y'all, but I'm just putting some on my hand. And this actually feels really good. And it smells good. So this is cute to add to your like nighttime routine. If you have like fine lines and wrinkles and stuff that you're trying to get rid of. And if you're trying to firm your skin. But anywho, let's get into what we were supposed to be getting into in the first place. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to see about is this watermelon one. It's a watermelon pop. Oh, this smells so good, and it's red. I love that color. I love that color. Let's check the consistency real We're gonna see. So I only took a little bit, and I'm gonna put it back. It smells so good, I'm gonna end up getting it. But I hope that I like the blueberry one too. 
I already have on some red stuff, so I'm going to wipe it off so we can see if this color shows up. But I'm going to tell y'all, like, the times before that I have used Laneige lip masks, every time the color did transfer, it wasn't, like, so crazy. But the caramel apple one, it showed up brown on my lip. That is the, um, the lip gloss that I got from, um, I can't remember what the brand was. I'm going to show y'all if I do find it. But it has, like, some type of honey-infused, like, lip gloss or something. But we're going to try it. Oh. Oh, this shows up red. But it's not that red, and it's cute. I really like it. Hold on. Let's fix the lighting. Yeah, I really like that color. It's actually really cute. I keep trying to leave me in it. I keep messing up, y'all. But yeah, I really like that, actually. And it smells good. I'm going to get it. But let me give me a little bag or something. I got one. But yeah, I'm going to get one of these. And like I said, this one is $24. And then we're going to try the new blueberry one. Why are they saying sweet candy is new? When I feel like sweet candy is not new. I feel like they had sweet candy. They've been had sweet candy. I'm not tripping. They've been had sweet candy. Why would they say that's new? Did they just newly get it in like the... Yeah, because let me smell this. I'm pretty sure this is... They've been had sweet candy. Maybe they're just not getting it in the squeeze because I've always had sweet candy in this right here but one thing that I do love is that they have this dreamy lip kit and you can try all of these together so this is the berry one the sweet candy the mango and then they have a peached iced tea this peached iced tea I feel like is like a, um limited like it's only like in this because I have not ever seen this peach iced tea outside of this so yeah and I'll be checking I'll be making sure but like I said, I haven't been inside of Sephora in a grip, so it could be possible that it snuck past me. I don't know, girl. But we're going to see about this blueberry one. I got a new one, obviously. We're just going to... This is how much I got. I'm just going to get a little bit more so I can make sure that it goes on. And then I want to see how it smells, if the blueberry really smells like blueberry. Where can y'all see it? Like, the red is is literally transferring. So I'm wondering, I know that this purple is going to transfer. It's going to make my lips look purple. That's how the gummy bear does my lips. But I like the scent. Oh, and then I got a cotton candy one that they had. And the cotton candy had blue and pink. Obviously, it's going to turn purple. So, it did. But, okay, let's see. Mm, that blueberry is so good. Let's see. I feel like it doesn't change my lip color. It's not changing it. It just smells so good. I'm gonna get it. But this one is $18. Again, just wanted to let y'all know. And I'm gonna leave it on because it smells so good. Oh, sweet God. Let me go ahead and grab these because, girl. Dewy Glow Jelly Cream with Cherry Blossom. This is a facial cream. Hmm. Oh, look at that. And it has niacinamide in here. I really don't need that. Purify pores and exfoliates volcanic clusters plus AHA. I seen a product like this when we were just at TJ Maxx. And it literally had the exact same things in there. Look at this. It says it clears pores, exfoliates, and absorbs serum. Oh, that looks good. Like, look at the texture on her nose. And look here. The clay mask. I feel like clay masks are really good for my girls that have oily skin too. As it just soaks up all of that excess oils. Clay masks are so good for that. Yeah, this one's for my oily skin girls and it's only $16. But based on a two-week independent consumer study on 30 women ages 20 to 35, it's a 93% for that their pores are cleaner after one use. That's major. That's major. I just want to let y'all know. Um, I think I ended up trying, yeah, this creamy eye treatment. I think I tried the $60 one. Was it the $60 or $37? Mm -hmm. I can't remember, but I like it. 
I feel like it did help, but I haven't been as consistent as I wanted to be um, or updated my skincare routine because I've been on the go, like really, really, really moving and doing different stuff. So it's been a lot going on, but don't sleep on them because they really have some really good formulated stuff. I love this brand for one, they're dermatologists solutions this is trademarked so i don't know if this means that they have dermatologists behind this but i would i would think so i just haven't done my research but i know when it says tm on the side it's saying that that name is trademarked so sometimes they use that as like a marketing some brands i wouldn't say them but some brands use certain terms as a marketing term and then they trademark the words together so they're only you know what i'm saying I don't know how to I don't know how to explain it. Anywho's. Um this right here helps correct dark spots and discoloration for visible cor correction and clarity. This one has a potent complex of activated C, white birch, and peony. Um I feel like that's really, really good to correct dark spots. Um they're letting y'all know, but this one is good for deep wrinkles, stuff like that. And this is a night nice serum. Um, they also have some other stuff to reduce wrinkles. This one is good to reduce fine lines and boost radiance. So this one has 12.5% of the vitamin C plus hyaluronic acid in there. So that sounds so good. As y'all can see right here, like this is clarity. That looks so good. And um, it says it works in two weeks. So as you can see right here with the dark spots, like those lightened up those deep wrinkles in there those brightened up the wrinkles right here so i really really love this brand in itself and then the proof is in their pictures but because you can see that the collagen peptide with niacinamide helped with eye correction um it lifts and helps with firm it, firmness um eyelid texture because y'all know when you get older like the eyelids just start getting like a lot looser and like makeup doesn't sit right just all type of stuff it helps with under eye puffiness and crow's feet everything so they be having some good stuff y'all like i'm telling y'all like literally don't sleep on them absolutely love them absolutely love them <laughs> the inky list is really really good too and they are affordable i really like them too but you just gotta know what you're looking for and i really really love like how they have they have everything right here on the side and then right here they kind of explain what it is in the back so you're not like just looking to try to figure out what it is that you're doing now i did not know that they had this which is a tree trip trip to tide what tri tripeptide <laughs> bro i am done this is a tripeptide plumping lip balm and as y'all can see this is the lips two weeks after and then this is the lips before so as y'all can see like it literally did its big one when it comes to plumping your lips i do like the result because you can tell that the lips have gotten bigger she focused more and honed in on the top lip as you can see but look at the results in two weeks versus the first week like we're all if you're really looking for something like that this is something that's gonna get you together this one is 13 dollars for 10 milliliters but who knows how long 10 milliliters last for two weeks it plumps and instantly hydrates i really want to try it but i'm scared but i'm still gonna try it just because of y'all and they have this glycolic acid um, exfoliating body stick. I feel like this is so good because remember when I did the challenge for seven days for trying glycolic acid on my underarms to see if it would tone it? And it really did. And I love the fact that they have this in a body stick now. So you can actually just use this for under your arms. I love that. That one right there is $18. And this is like, like I said, this isn't like a stick. So I wouldn't... And then also while I was using glycolic acid, I did not put on deodorant. So I feel like it actually helped to like um, detoxify underneath my arms too when I was using glycolic acid. So I did notice a difference in that. Like, but the long-term effects of using glycolic acid under your arm, I really don't know. But I did use it for seven days and I feel like it did help out a lot. I just don't know if you can use it every day of your life as a substitute for deodorant so really don't quote me on that but i'm just saying 
Anywho, we're back now here to the lip balm, and we're going to see what that's hitting for. I really forgot what time they closed, but I'm pretty sure they're going to tell me when it gets close to time. And y'all, don't mind my hair, because I really just took down my braids, and my birthday coming up, so obviously I'm going to get my hair done, but I'm just saying. I'm so proud of my camera. It's not dying. It's not overheating. It's not doing none of that. Y'all know, listen, comment down below if y'all know of a new camera, a new good camera that I could purchase a nice lens with. Like, I really need to up the quality when it comes to this YouTube-ish because I feel like I'm kind of falling behind. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But I love my baby that's been sticking around. Anyways, I'm just going to put this on top of what I already have. And if y'all can see, like, this is how much it is. So, it's not a whole bunch. I'm just going to I'm gonna start with the top. I'm so scared. Y'all know I um, love the um, Too Faced Lip Plumper. Um, a few years ago, I actually did a couple of reviews on when they had first came out. And then I did a review with the Maximum. And then I did a review with the Extreme. And... <laughs> I had a good time making those videos, but girl, I was going through it because my mouth just kept salivating. Like, I was just like, oh, saliva was everywhere. I mean, not everywhere, but <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it was a lot. It was a lot, baby. But, um, I feel like they changed the structure in here. I'm not tripping. Okay, yeah. Okay, so they got Dr. Jar over here. They got Dr. Dennis Gross, the ordinary Mariah. You already know the Zilla. Y'all know I love Dr. Dennis Gross, and I've been using this for a long time. Ever since Kyra put me on, I've been on it bad. I've been using the Universal Daily Peel, and I feel like this has been keeping my skin so much, like, from being like this. Especially when going through times where I had, like, pimples and stuff. But literally, it transforms your skin like no other. That is a product that I will stand by forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and forever. Like literally my baby. Holy grail. But I didn't know that they had this. So this is an acne eliminating gel. It has salicylic acid in there and they're calling it like an acne medicine. I don't know how much of the salicylic acid is in there. So I can tell you what the percentage is. But I do know that their stuff is really, really good but it is expensive i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna hold y'all like their stuff is usually very expensive and then they have this aha bha cleansing gel this is really good for my girls that are dealing with like i said stuff like that but then also like um acne and stuff i can't tell you what the ahas and bhas are in here but i do know that they're typically like glycolic lactic or salicylic acid in here i'm gonna see if we can see in the um ingredients yeah it has glycolic acid in there mandelic acid that is so good for discoloration um they have willow bark extract that is good for discoloration too um but that's all i can see right now while my eyes are scanning comment down below if y'all can see something else but those are the only things that i am seeing in there which is pretty good but i feel like this is like one of those one of those things okay now the pad they're calling them daily peels and i wouldn't say that my skin be peeling they have never peeled when i use these because yeah but i never use the extra strength formula so i can't really tell y'all but i know that i love these there's 35 in here for $88, and then they have the bigger one, which is the 60 quart for $153. I will be honest with y'all, I think they did go up in price, but I'm not going to lie and say that it does not do what it's supposed to do. So I will be honest and say it's worth the price. Okay. I, I feel like this is new. Overnight Renewal Peel. Overnight Texture Renewal Peel. It has retinol in there and ferlic in there. I don't know, but it has retinol, uh, rambutan, ferlic acid, and but Trulio or something like that. I have never heard of that. I'm going to lie to you. I've never heard of it. And I don't, I, I have never used this before, so I'm not going to speak on nothing that I never use. But comment down below if y'all have used something like this. I have never used anything like that before. And they have like this melt away cleanser. Interesting. Oh, look at the texture. Interesting. And obviously, y'all know I got to go over there with my babies to smell the perfume. See if they got some new stuff over there. Y'all already know what the Zilla is. But they have some, Dr. Jart has some really, really good masks. But I, 
I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like, I have not used them. So, comment down below if y'all have used them. If y'all feel like they are better masks than other brands, then I would definitely, like, buy literally every last one of these and try them out. Especially the pores one. Pore Remedy Mud Mask. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't try that one because it is um, it's, it's a mud mask. And I, I need my oils. I know my skin. <laughs> I'm not doing that to myself. Look, they got all of these over here. This is Rainwater, Berry Bliss, Rose Water, Wild Watermelon. Hmm. Hopefully the music is not too loud for y'all. But I'm trying to see if I can find... Oh, yeah. And Bio Essence. Listen, this moisturizer will have your skin glowing. I really, really love this. This is super hydrating. This is $54. So it is a lot of money but i'm not gonna lie to y'all it's a really good product try to find products because i had went to um where did i go oh i had went to tj maxx and when i went to tj maxx they had this they had the gel moisturizer they had the squalene oil in here and then they also had like a yeah, they had this lactic acid resurfacing night serum all together. Now, obviously, if they come together in a set, they're little. But, like, stuff like this. Like, look at this. This has the squalene lactic acid, the eye cream, and it has the repair cream. Well, this is not the same repair cream, though. Because this one is the probiotic gel moisturizer. And this one is the squalene omega repair cream. But it has... It doesn't matter. Like, it's still going to be hydrating. But anyways, if you find something like this, and it's literally $35, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all finding deals like that. So you can try all of these. And if you find that you actually like them, then you can come back and buy the full size. But I feel like those are imperative or important for you to do. Especially if you're trying to see if you like something. Just get the little gifts, little sets, and... See if you like them. Here go first, a beauty. Trying to see if they have anything new over here. They have a new firming cream, and oh, it comes in like a nice drawer. But it has peptides, nice and my and collagen in here, which I absolutely loved using that. I felt like my skin was like more. But this KB bump eraser is so good. It has 10% AHA in there, which is glycolic acid. And glycolic acid is so good at exfoliating. And this also has pumice in there, I believe. I'm going to double check and make sure. Oh, and it has collodial oatmeal in here, which I absolutely love about their products. It's really, really good for my girls that have eczema and that are dealing with stuff like that. That's why I love First Aid Beauty for, like, all of my problems i cannot tell y'all how much it says because it's not a price right here so i can't tell y'all oh my god but it is what it is okay now we're gonna go over here to the hair stuff remember i was telling y'all about like the um about stuff like this like take advantage of this type of stuff just so you can try them out and see if you actually like them because a lot of times you're saving a lot of money versus buying one product at a time like this youth package it has all of these things in here and i can't tell you how much it is but i know it's way cheaper than buying each individually like this herbivore skin in the cloud set this is a, like a cloud jelly a pink cloud cream a serum all type of stuff like that so, yeah. I heard Way was breaking girls' hair out, though. I heard, I heard. I don't know about it, but I heard about it. Look up there. I feel like that's so cute. Look at this scalp massager. Biotin gummy for hair wellness. And then she has a hair serum. What else? Oh, Grow More Kit. This is a kit. That's all together. What's all in here? Let's see. The gummies is in here. The hair growth serum. I wonder if that it, Gorilla. Yeah. 
So the gummies and the hair serum is the only thing that's in there. And apparently per serving, it's like eight calories. So she did put that on there, which is cool. But then what else do she got? Oh, she got a dry shampoo. She has a revitalizing shampoo. And then a conditioner. This is the travel size. Hmm. Do y'all know who these Like, what brand is this? I have never heard of them. But they have a whole bunch of new stuff down here. Is this a prickly pear hair oil? I love a good hair. Hair oil smells so good. Like, they have your hair smell so good. A three-in-one styling cream. It's like a cactus scent. A fairy duster dry shampoo. Mirage mist leave-in conditioner that's good but y'all this is the brand i was talking about guessing i ended up getting their hair their honey infused hair perfume and it smells so good literally it smells so good i was using that in my braids and then i ended up this is the one that has my lips red is it this one i don't think it was the mango passion fruit no it was this one the ones that i just had on the strawberry sorbet that was this one and it's so it smells so good but to be honest i put on a lip plumber and i don't feel like it has done anything but i do want to show y'all this this hair blossom i feel like this is a good like i've been into church going to church lately and i feel like this is a good church scent i like this smell it smells so good this burberry hair elixir is so good and it's like a nighttime for ladies scent but then this Burberry Goddess smells so amazing. I love this. This is probably one of my favorite ones that I picked up recently. Um, but I'm trying to see if we got some new ones. Old Nectar. These are all of their scents. Like, I haven't really gotten into Nest scents. I don't know about I don't know. Um, Thank you. Oh, I, you know what? I have heard a lot before. I go over there on the other side. I've heard a lot about one size setting powders and I actually seen how the setting powder looks and then they actually have different sizes and they have a waterproof setting spray like just all type of stuff girl and I would actually go with the sweet honey because it looks really really good but this is a translucent the ultra ultra pink and then this is the sweet honey one I'm trying to see I feel like I would go with the sweet honey one but it looks like a little yellow. What about the dark deep one? Oh, that's really dark. Oh, what about this one? This is, they're both translucent, but this is the sweet honey one. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, well, what color is this? Is this marigold? I probably would go with the, should I go with the marigold or sweet honey? I don't know. But I love that they have these little, puffs over here and this is like before the um oil sucker so the extreme mattifying alkaline primer i love this for my oily skin girls i honestly felt like one size was for like oily skin people but apparently it's not because i see one of my girls that have like dry skin use this and it blurred out so good it was actually i'm gonna be real with y'all Underneath my eyes, I've noticed, especially when it's hot, like it gets really, really oily under there and my concealer breakup and my powder breakup, all type of stuff. So like this is this is something that could work out for me, you know, I don't know. But um, who knows? I don't know how much this is, though. So let's see. The mini is $18. And it's 24 shine control and sweat proof this brand itself is so good for like my oily skin babies oh my god and then they have like this lip duo that is so cute with these uh, lip liners and then these blush trios listen am i missing something did patrick's i don't know if that's not patrick star what is their name I can't remember their name i want to try that but i haven't been using makeup a lot lately I think I did end up smelling this one, which I really, really liked. These don't look new, but I did really like this one. I still have this Giorgio Armani in my closet. 
but I don't think that I've tried to smell these other ones. So I want to see what they are hidden for. And I don't know, that Jimmy Choo doesn't look good. I'm trying to see. It was like a new, some new Dior scents. But I don't know if they have Dior here. I feel like they should though. And these probably aren't something that I haven't smelled out Ulta Beauty, but sometimes they be having scents that um, Ulta Beauty doesn't have. Because I just went there like last week. We gonna see. But I know... Oh my god. They have this again. The Daisy Dream. That used to be my baby. Oh my god. I used to love Daisy Dream. That just reminded me. I feel like I fell in love with Daisy Dream when I first started getting into perfumes. <laughs> so weird. Okay. This is the Sea. And this is like a fruity floral scent. I love these type of scents, so hopefully I like it. The intense one, I feel like I use it more for like a nighttime. This definitely have a couple of those musk scents in there. Cause I'm not, it's not giving. I love that scent though. Let me let it. Cause sometimes you gotta give it a second for it to come in. I actually like that scent real, real bad. And the one ounce is 95 and the 1 1.7 is 130, y'all. If you're a fruity floral girl, you're going to love that one. I ended up getting the, the red one though, so I don't really need to smell that one and see if I like it because I already have it. I already have this one. And I really use this for like a nighttime scent. Wish it had like the notes underneath here. So I would know what's in it. I mean, it's all right, but I don't, uh, I wouldn't, I don't like that over this one. So this is the Aqua by Armani. I mean, it smells good, but I wouldn't say this is literally a scent that I, I would absolutely love, but it is like a fresh scent and I like it. This kind of reminds me of the one that I just smelled, honestly. But this one has like a little spice to it. And then this this one is the intense one. So we're going to see. Yeah, that one smells good. This smells alright. I don't know. I really like that one. So honestly, I would give this one an 8 out of 10. This one a 9 out of 10. And then... This one, I would give it like a 9 out of 10 as well. Just because I wouldn't say like, oh my gosh, I absolutely love these scents, but I do like them. Okay, y'all. Uh, I think I'm going to get ready to check out my well because those are the things that I want to come in and see. I really wanted to see if I want to, oh my gosh, they have like the different creamsicle, tickle, blueberry buzz i didn't know that they came out with these um different like smells because oh this one is a cotton candy one that's crazy i remember getting like the maximum plump like it didn't have like all of these scents like bubble gummy i'm pink punch tangerine dream none of that stuff i just got like this itself and literally nothing else but i might come back i'm gonna come back um Probably the next week after this one and um yeah that's it hi how are you doing good thank you yes let me get my I'm trying to give you everything <laughs> thank you But yeah, I'm going to come back probably the week after next just so I can check out that one and probably get that one size setting powder to see if it'll do if it'll work out different for me but i know that i have dry skin but lately especially in the summertime i have been like more oily i love you all so much thanks so much for tuning in and i'll see you on my next video